Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you a step-by-step -step tutorial to create this chair right here and we're gonna do it uh, from the beginning till the end so from the default cube till the very end to the rendered image I'm gonna show you how to model it then I'm gonna then, then we're gonna sculpt it a bit and then we'll also use uh, UV uh, mapping and then we'll render it so it's gonna be a kind of a long tutorial hopefully I won't have to split it in two parts but um, that's it and this tutorial is going to be for absolute beginners so you can make this chair right here so let's get right into it we'll begin by a little tip for navigating in blender you probably all know that when you when you're like uh, scrolling your mouse you're zooming in and out when you're holding shift and pressing the scroll button you are panning and the thing uh, that i want to share with you a little uh, tip for you today is what i always do is uh, enabling this depth checkbox and this zoom to mouse position checkbox and what does this mean this means when you're zooming you're zooming to wherever you're pointing your mouse to so it's kind of cool you don't need to pan you you just have to zoom out zoom in and another cool thing is uh, the depth it's the auto depth uh, uh, checkbox that we check is when you're orbiting when you're orbiting with the uh, scroll mouse button uh, you're orbiting around the place where your mouse is so for example if I'm holding if I'm hovering my mouse over this point uh, and and then I begin to orbit it's going to orbit around that point let's switch it to here and you can see that I'm orbiting around that and it's it's infinitely mu much faster than uh, using the default uh, uh, the default navigating settings so let's begin by right away with the, this time we are not going to delete our cube we're going to select it and go with tab we're going to go into edit mode and we're gonna press m on the keyboard and merge all our vertices at center so now we have one vertice then press one on the numpad and then we need to press one on the keyboard to go into vertex select mode and then we we just select this only vertex we have press e to extrude and press x to constrain it on the x-axis and type 45 press enter and now we have our edge of 45 centimeters uh, I forgot to tell you about the units so units are right here I have my set to centimeters and you can uh, change that if you want or you can just uh, work in meters whatever whatever is good for you so let's select this vertice uh, again E and then Z to constrain it on the Z axis type 50 enter and again e now again x but now we're not gonna type all the way uh, 45 but we will type let's say 30 let's start with 30 oh see that is, is that's gone on the other side so let's move it with g on the x axis minus 60. I should have I should have uh, written minus 30 in the first place but what you're gonna do and then we're gonna select an, uh, this vertices and E Z on the Z axis this time 60 and then another one E X axis minus 10 okay and now what we're gonna do now we have our kind of shape of our frame start shape and then we're going to select all we can or box select or we can we can press a on the keyboard to select all and we're going to press again extrude but now now we'll press y to constrain it on the y axis and we're going to just push to enter now we have our planes and but uh, this is not the real uh, shape that we want we want we want our our shape to have like a curvature here right so what we'll do we'll, we'll, we'll press 2 on the keyboard 
to go into edge select mode and press this vertices and we're gonna move it with G Z to constrain on the Z axis minus 30 so this looks more like what we want but we still need to bevel this edge and we can we can do it in perspective view just press ctrl b to bevel the edge and go down with your mouse and with your scroll wheel you will add geometry so let's say that this looks fine uh, when you're done with the operation uh, click and then uh, you'll get this dialog box that's you could you maybe it will be collapsed but you can open it like this and you can even uh, change some of the parameters as you can see or you can even add segments you see that we have six segments but we can have more to have more smooth but uh, we don't need to smooth anything uh, less geometry we have at this point is better because we're gonna we're gonna do something later that's gonna add geometry uh, so we don't want more than six at the time shape is okay everything is fine so you can press enter and once you click away this uh, dialog box uh, disappears and we have our shape and i'm not quite happy with it so i'm gonna select this with box select and i'm gonna move it a bit on the X axis with G X somewhere around I don't know here looks kind of okay and then we need to bevel these vertices right to have like a like a curvature here and but this edge is gonna be a problem so if I if I press this if I select this edge and I press control B to bevel you see that that my my bevel is stopping on this edge it's because it's it's in the way so what we can do we can select this edge delete and dissolve edges and now uh, our bevel is going to be easier but we can make a multiple select to bevel them all at once so one cold shift to multiple select and now we have selected all our edges press ctrl b to bevel and I don't know this looks looks okay okay so now we have our shape more or less I think I'm gonna move it a bit more I think I'm gonna move it a bit more yeah so GX somewhere around here okay now let's say finally that we are happy with our shape of our frame and uh, what we're going to do now we're going to press tab to go into object mode and then we're going to go here in a, into our modifier properties panel and we're going to add a solidify modifier where is it it's right here okay and now we've add some meat on our on our frame but we want it in the other direction like here we're going to press we're going to type here minus three and this is the shape we were going for okay but now I see that uh, it was better before I moved it so let's go back into let's go back into edit mode and move it again somewhere around here you can see that uh, when you are in edit mode uh, and you have a modifier like this that's creating geometry you see that in, in edit mode the uh, blender doesn't see these vertices and these faces created by the modifier uh, uh, he just creates them for you to see in real time but you cannot edit like this point to do that you need to apply the modifier and you'll do that by going here and apply it but you cannot do it in edit mode so you need to go back in object mode and apply again and now in edit mode you see that we we have all this geometry sometimes uh, you don't want to apply uh, the modifier because um, the, the less geometry you have your uh, your model is going to be easier to 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 work with you know so it's going to be faster and um, 
so in this case we are gonna apply it because you'll see uh, because uh, we need to do something with the geometry that's a part of the modifier so we need to create it but uh, in most cases if you can if you if you can model it without modify without applying the modifiers you just do it okay so let's uh, see that our our frame is i went back into object mode is almost done and now what we're going to do we're going to go back into edit mode we're going to press a to select all and we're going to g y so we're going to move it on the y axis exactly 20 centimeters okay and this is it and then and then we're going to add another modifier in object mode so let's go back into object mode and add a mirror modifier as you can see our object is mirror around the center of our object that is here but it's mirroring the the wrong plane so we need to set our plane to y and turn off the x okay so now we have our frame it's looking it's looking almost done and we need to just connect it here so what can we do we can we can go back into edit mode again you see that we can only edit one part if we if we move this vertex you see in real time that the other mirrored object is also gonna change so uh, what we what we can do now to add this this like um, perpendicular part of, the, of our frame and to connect the two parts we're gonna go we're gonna press three to go into face select mode and we're gonna we're gonna select this face and we're gonna move it g x two centimeters and now we can extrude it two centimeters select this face and extrude it again here as you can see I, I could type the exact measurement to stop in the middle but instead what I can do what I can do is uh, enable clipping and that is gonna that is gonna stop all, all, all our geometry to not go on the other side of the mirror so just click and we have connected our frame okay so this is it let's go into vertex select mode and now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna select all and press m to merge all vertices by distance if somehow i have made a mistake and have more than one vertices in the same exact position sometimes th this can happen and you can you can enable this uh, auto merge vertices but i personally don't like it what does this little auto merge button do uh, if you have for example multiple vertices like here he's gonna merge them automatically so we, we're gonna have one and uh, most people prefer it that way but i don't because of I don't know some sometimes it's better not to have uh, this option enabled I'm not gonna go into every detail anyway I prefer not to do it I, I prefer to do it manually when I need to so so for example if I don't have this option enabled sorry when I have my loop cut and and when I don't have this enabled now i have more than one vertices here so see that when i move one there's another one behind it either way i'm rambling let's go so what to do uh, when you don't have this enabled but sometimes somehow maybe you've extruded but not move the face it can happen so every now and then i go into vertex select mode select all and press m merge by distance and by default it's set to 0.01 centimeters so if there were some vertices around here that were uh, kind of in the same place they would have been merged let's uh, let's try it just for fun we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go again to merge by distance and remove the 
zero vertices. Hmm. Ah, that's because I didn't select. Oh, okay. Again, by distance, removed four vertices. Hooray, we did it. Anyway, uh, this is it. Our frame is almost done, but we need to make it a little bit more, a little bit uh, more realistic. So, uh, you can see that it's not really smooth around here. It's it's having these, and also these edges are absolutely sharp. So, nothing in this world has an infinitely sharp edge. So, we need to bevel it. And we're going to do it not by adding geometry, but adding a geometry by adding a modifier. Very simple. So, let's add a bevel modifier. Here we go. Let's go into this mode. This is viewport shading. As you can see, uh, a bevel has been added, but, but uh, let's go into side view with one on the numpad and let's go into edit mode. You can see that also these faces, these edges are also being beveled. And we don't want that. We want just this sharp 90 degrees turn beveled. And we're going to do that by going into limit method and set an angle limit to 30 degrees. So everything that's over 30 degrees, it's going to be beveled. Uh, and we need to obviously set a minor number. Let's go with 1, 5, 0 0.15. And this is our bevel. And now everything looks fine. These are not getting beveled because the angle between these two faces is less than, uh, it's more than 30 degrees. So, uh, so this is getting beveled. You can, you can also add segments to add more geometry to make it more smooth but uh, I don't want to do that I want to keep at one and I'm uh, and I want to use another modifier that's going to smooth for me also these edges you know because this also is not looking good so what can we do we're going to press control three on our keyboard and we just added let's collapse this one We've just added a subdivision surface modifier with three subdivisions, three levels of subdivision. And, and we're going to press uh, right click shade smooth to have it all smoothed out. And what does subdivision surface modifier do? It just subdivides your faces. One level of subdivision is just by one and then it smooths your geometry you can see the result it's looking kind of good but we have a problem right here so what has happened here uh, so how does subdivision surface modifier work it smooths the passage it smooths uh, the passage from one face to another so here we have a face and another face and and this edge and another edge and this one this modifier tries to smooth the passage from this edge to this edge and it does by three levels of subdivision so one two three and, and this is done from the kind of a middle point of the face or or the edge so middle point here middle point here and he smooths smooths but this is not what we want we, we want it we want this bevel to be like like here you know this looks better so there are there are two ways we can do this we can add a bevel here like this and this is going to smooth it a bit but i prefer to add a loop cut so a loop cut is like a loop of edges around geometry and we can do that by hovering over an edge, press Ctrl R, click, and then drag to where we want it. And we want it right here. And we need to add another one here. And click.
click and drag to right about here. And now our bevel is looking real nice. Back into object mode and this is it guys. You have finished, you have finished your frame. This looks great. So unfortunately I thought I could do this in another video but I started rambling and and this is what we this is what we have so uh, I'm gonna catch you in the next one in the next one we're gonna create a seat and a back for the chair and we're gonna sculpt it a bit to make it more interesting and then we're gonna put some texture on it and render it and this is gonna be it thank you everybody for watching uh, please uh, stay tuned subscribe next video is coming right away and I'll uh, talk to you later all right goodbye